You know, I don't know if anybody's in debt tonight, but if you are, I'm going to tell you right now not to worry about it because I used to worry about it and it doesn't help at all. I used to be in a little bit of debt and it bothered me a lot. Now I'm in a lot of debt, it just bothers me a little. <laughs> and I know why. It's because I figured it out. I finally hit the number. And you know what's key about the number is that you don't even know what the number is until you hit it. And then one day you're home, you're just kind of looking through the bills to discover the MasterCard, the Visa, and all of a sudden it hits you. Wow. I can never pay this off. <laughs> well, maybe if I... No, no, no. All right, let's go to Target. I'm buying a big screen. Who wants one? Come on. Follow me. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. I don't care what it is. We are living the Visa Loca. We are going to go out and spend like crazy. I'll tell you, that is the best feeling, just hitting that number, because you're like, woo, whatever happens, happens. I'm like, I don't care. What are you going to do, sue me? <laughs> Put it on the visa. <laughs> My brother was always calling me up. He's like, when are you going to take responsibility for this? I'm like, okay, I will. So I got some caller ID. Now I don't have to talk to him anymore about it. I feel <laughs> really good about that. But why be ashamed? Why be ashamed of your debt? If you have debt, be proud. It took you years to build up that deficit. <laughs> Hold on to it. Cherish it. Pass it on. <laughs> That's a good idea. I say if you have debt, leave it to your kids. Give them something money can't buy. <laughs> At 23%, that's a gift they're going to remember long after you're gone. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. How many times do you hear about large inheritances just ripping families apart? I say, leave them your debt, give them a little project, bring them together to work on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I mean, I put debt in the plus column of my life. That's how serious I am about this. Because you know what? After all these years of having debt now, I got bill collectors I consider to be pretty darn good friends. <laughs> I got good friends that don't call me for months. I got a guy owed 10 grand to, checks in on me every single week. <laughs> That's a good buddy. He calls me up, he's like, hello, Mr. Clue, this is John from Bank One. I'm like, hey, John. Sorry I missed your call last week. I'm shopping at Target. Mr. Clue, uh, we see no payment to post to your account for 17 months and we're becoming somewhat concerned. I said, John, I am glad you called because, man, I am concerned about it too. <laughs> he says, well, Mr. Clue, what would you suggest then that we should do about this? I said, John, I got to tell you, I'm stumped. I'm broke too, so if you got some ideas, I'll work with you. <laughs> he says, well, Mr. Clue, we're hoping you might want to pay just a little bit of this off. I said, John, how long have you and I known each other? <laughs> I think you know that's just not going to happen. You got to think outside the box on this one, a little John. <laughs> you know, whatever, how about we put it on your visa, because mine's maxed out. I like that guy. He can call anytime he wants. The other guy I don't care for. It's the other type of debt collector. It's the guy that seems to care just way too much. Hello, Mr. Clue. This is Jim from Bank One Visa. How are we doing today? I'm like, Jim, I'm fine, but gosh, it sounds like you need to go potty. <laughs> Mr. Clue, do you realize that you have a past due debt that, if not paid immediately, will have permanent and irreparable damage upon your credit rating? Are you aware of this? I'm like, Jim, I'm not only aware of it, I had a lot to do with it. <laughs> well, what then do you suggest that we should do about this? I said, Jim, I'm going to suggest what I've been doing all along. You should think about it, too. Let it go. <laughs> you got to forgive yourself and move on because it's not your fault. 
He says, Mr. Clark, do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand that your debt is not our responsibility? I said, Jim, let me tell you what I understand. I understand that like a year ago, I got a card in the mail that I never asked for in the first place. <laughs> in fact, from what I know, your company gave me your seal of approval. I never asked for your approval, but you gave it to me anyway. Now I've made some impulse buys that perhaps got us in a little bit of a pickle. <laughs> but it's our pickle, and I think we can work our way out. But Jim, I want you to take the right attitude about this. I want you to think about the good things that you've helped me buy over the years. <laughs> because I got crap in this house I could have never afforded without the help of your company. I told him, I said, I got a fruit dehydrator and a solo flex you should be pretty darn proud of, Jimmy. I said, you name a fruit, I'll suck the juice out of it. I'll make you a Kiwi Slim Jim that will knock your socks off. <laughs> he hung up. <laughs>